One of my favorite auto HDR tricks on the PC is this major paint the cactus auto to reshade, which I highly recommend. And people have been telling me for a while, hey, there's actually an updated version that has a higher bit rate, a more quality, less color banding, because it is SCRGB instead of the HDR10 version that I have been sharing. And this update is not new, but it is new to me. So I just tried it today. Is it any better? I don't know. I don't see the difference. Okay, maybe I would need to find like a color banding example and then you know just take a screenshot and look at it side by side, something like that. So it, it might be like a very minor difference, but it is supposed to be better and it is updated. So give it a try. Link in the description of the video. I am using it right now and it looks absolutely fantastic. And the other thing I wanted to share with you on this video is uh, after this a live stream that we did with the Unreal Engine developer a Hybrid, he shared some anti-aliasing uh, shaders tweak by him, which you can try. And it's a lot of them. And which one is the best? I don't know. I've been trying today, I mean, switching back and forth, and so far this is what I've been using for this game, and it looks very good. A S S M A A. So give it a try. If you have a game without anti-aliasing, which is almost like there's no way you know, a game comes out today it doesn't have T A A, it would be like very very weird. But if a game lets you turn off TAA, which sometimes absolutely sucks. Okay, you can give this a try. And some of them have a big performance uh, penalty, but some of them don't. This one, for example, ASSMAA, is not you know, hitting the performance that bad. It's like 5% on the GPU, and it actually improves things. Um, and Hybrid might watch this video and might give us some recommendations. I'll definitely pin that comment. If you watch this video, let me know what's your recommendation or if it just depends on the game and we have to just you know, test it <laughs> for hours just to see which one is the best. But I'm going to share that with you. And it looks like this. Let me show you. It looks like this. This is the page. Um, so I'm going to share with you this page. And because this is the post, this is the Reddit post that Hybrid uh, did. So you can just click here on this link where it says Advanced Reshade Anti Aliasing Download. Okay, and this is gonna give you a bunch of anti aliasing uh, options. You can see them here, um, all of these options, and it's on a scale of one to seven. and it is an order of how demanding they are. So seven is the most demanding one, but that doesn't mean that's the best uh, based on his comments. So give them a try, see which one you prefer. And also the Major Pain the Cactus uh, page looks like this. This is from Lilium, you know, the HDR analysis tool creator. This is coming from him, uh, Major Pain the Cactus, I think this was um, created by him initially, and then he updated it here on his page. Or oh, I'm not sure, but give this a try. It looks the same to me, but it is supposed to be an SCRGB updated uh, version. If this is the one, okay? I'm not sure, you let me know. I, it looks the same to me. Um, so yeah, give it a try, link in the description of the video. Um, it says here, the original was updated two years ago. So this is very old, I'm not sure um, if this is any better, but if you go to the, to the page, to his page, this is what you see, Auto HDR, and that's the one. So let me know if you, if you know of a more updated even more updated version, or if this is the right 
SCRGB updated version that people have been telling me for a while um, because I don't really see any any difference whatsoever uh, but yeah I mean the work from Lilium with the HDR analysis tool and all the tone mapping shaders is absolutely amazing so definitely explore here uh, in github and see what you can get from him because this is like HDR gaming saved basically by his work so yeah definitely give it a try and also check out hybrid a YouTube channel uh, we, we did made a, li a live stream with him it was great uh, we talk about a lot um, you know about TAA frame generation asynchronous reprojection out are the games getting blurrier and he knows a lot about that so it was very interesting to me and also check out his YouTube channel he made this video the issue is plugging modern gaming graphics and the video has like over 200,000 views <laughs> that's insane for a small YouTube channel he's he's blowing up with that video and it was a great great video with side-by-side -side pictures and comparisons where he shows you know the problems that we have with TAA and you know some of the solutions and his recommendations so this uh, anti-aliasing shaders that have been tweaked by him that's like a very very you know, very good work you don't have to do it yourself because you sometimes you're trying to use a reshade a shader and you're like man you know which one is better I mean it's so 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 much work to be tweaking these values especially with with anti-aliasing you just have to be looking at the screen very close and going up and down it's like I mean just me deciding which one is better I've been like going back and forth and it's tough it's tough just just to decide which one is the best um, so yeah for the major paint the cactus it is an add-on so make sure you download the reshade with full add-on support okay that's the 5.29 i think this is the one uh yeah and then just just add the add-ons uh, path so basically the folder where you have that add-on that you download and then just make sure you check this enable hdr box that's it just check that and it should work <laughs> and then of course you need to use Lilium's inverse tone mapping uh, or the shader that comes with the auto HDR uh, add-on I prefer this Lilium's inverse tone mapping because it's very easy you just have to use this default uh, method BT2446 method A and the content TRC most of the time is 2.2 and just the tar you just have to input the target brightness that you want the max CLL in this case 800 nits for my LG C1 um, and that's it that's all you do and it just looks absolutely amazing you get perfect blacks and you get a very bright picture I mean it's like 800 nits peak brightness and look at the average brightness 140 nits 120 so it looks bright this is not gonna be like oh I don't like HGIG it's too dark that's not gonna happen with this mod so I'm sure a lot of people try this mod and they will like they will be like I'm not yeah I'm not messing around with native HDR anymore because if this works I don't have to analyze anything it's just like boom it just works and you don't have to you know it just it looks so good and why would you struggle <laughs> but I recommend you to still work with the native HDR to see uh, if you can fix it if it's broken or just fix the black level race or whatever because you know it can potentially give you better results of course um, but yeah give this a try this is an old game the shadow of mortar it doesn't have uh, anti-aliasing at all so it is a very good you know game to to test which one of these um, anti-aliasing options is the best I'm gonna keep testing it and if I find it which one is the best I'm gonna post that or if hybrid sees this video and he tells me which one is the best or you know, whatever his recommendation is I'm gonna pin that comment 
Uh, but yeah, this is a good example to see which one is the best because we don't even have any anti-aliasing options on this game, which is um, is not a good thing, but the game at least doesn't look blurry, okay? You, we do have a lot of shimmering, um, but it's not terrible. 4K, no anti-aliasing. We have shimmering in objects that are probably not 4K, um, because I mean this shimmering is big even with this anti-aliasing I'm using right now um, this is number two this you know shimmering is, is bad so this is not like a nice no, for number four I mean it's number four so I have like a like a hotkey to to go back and forth AA no AA so the difference it's more apparent in some examples, others are like very bad shimmering and, and I kind of fix that. Um, yeah, it's, it improves just a little bit, but it's not, it's still, it's still there. The staircase effect is still there and it is, it is distracting. So I'm going to work on it and see if I can, you know, the best result that I can get on this game, which I haven't beat. I beat the... Shadow of War, but this one I I never I never played it uh, until the end, so I'm gonna beat it. It's a it's a nice game. I like a lot the uh, the voice acting of the of the trolls and their personalities and all. They remember your actions. It's like a fantastic game mechanic that unfortunately they try to copyright or something. Like we cannot get this kind of mechanic on any other game because they. They copyright it, basically, which absolutely sucks because it's a fantastic game mechanic. And I don't know why would they do that because they have a combat mechanic that was a straight up copy from Batman uh, Asylum, the Arkham Asylum, I believe. So their combat mechanic it was copied from another game. Why would you try to copyright a game mechanic? It just, just doesn't make any sense. But it's a great game, so I'll play it just because of that. It's fun, just because of the voice acting and the trolls talking to you and remembering your actions if they beat you up or whatever. But yeah, the shimmering is there, and I don't think that's 4K. Um, so I'll try to see how can I fix it with, with this stuff. So yeah, let me know if you uh, have any questions, if you give this a try. Um, is this the right uh, link is this the srgb uh, version of the of the major pain the cactus that people have been telling me about um i'm not sure it is because it looks the same it's also very old this is not updated at all but someone sent me this um and told me hey this is the srgb version so, um this is what i got so I thought it was the same thing, but yeah. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you definitely, at least you got from this video, if this is just the same thing or if it's all, at least you got from this video, the anti-aliasing uh, shaders, which are very nice and you can give them a try. So this is the major pain, the cactus uh, updated from Lillian, supposedly. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. And if you have any questions.